Motor systems are evolving because of the requirement for indirect fire in the modern battlefield. Okay, from the recent conflict in uh, Ukraine, you can see that there's requirement now for a more advanced system that require more mobility. The ability to scoop and move is uh, one of the important factors taken into consideration. Four innovations that we have done in the new GDAM. Firstly, it's actually through simulation. We are able to have a very advanced hinge and deployment system to able to deploy the system within 15 seconds and retrieve within 15 seconds. Second advantage is that we have a new design for the base plate that actually absorb most of the back blast okay, from the motor rather than to the motor system. So it allows it to be integrated into any normal 4x4 vehicle. Fire control system can be networked to any BMS system, all right, allowing it to have a very sharp and concise sensor to shooter loop to engage the target very fast. The battlefield awareness is improved with the integration of the fire control system with the BMS. While the sensor identifies the target, okay, going to the HQ for possession, this information can then be piped onto the fire control system, which allows it to be deployed to the correct location and fire precisely at the uh, target of uh, desire. And lastly, we have uh, adopted the patented uh, blast diffuser from the SRAM system that we had earlier into the GDAM. Okay, allow it to actually reduce the overpressure and uh, provide troop safety during the deployment of the gun.